video we're going to take a look at how to connect to Sage X3 uh, via Telnet. And this is to simulate a scan gun um, for ADC, Advanced Data Collection. So what, what you have to have is Telnet installed on the machine. Telnet comes with any Microsoft Windows. I've got it on my PC. I'm attached to this customer via a VPN, and um, we're going to go ahead and connect. You will, in this situation, this is Sage uh, version X3 version 7, uh, so the web services are managed on the application server. So once you have the, the Telnet window open, um, you will connect with the command O and then the server name. And then the port, the, this standard port should be 28023. Okay, now this took me directly into um, X3. I was already logged in, so it probably retained that information from before. So I select my folder. I'm sorry, it didn't retain the user information. I, I put it in here. So now I'm going to connect. I just log in using admin. Select. I'm going to set the stock site next. Using your up down arrow keys. Um, in this case, I can do a stock or a purchase transaction. I'm going to select a stock transaction. I'm going to do a miscellaneous receipt. And that's the transaction type product. One one zero four three is the product. Unit each quantity one status A location A. Don't need to add a supplier or a lot number. I'm gonna now these bottom keys are managed with F1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'm gonna do an F2 to create. See I created miscellaneous receipt 65562. Minimize this. I'm in the miscellaneous receipt screen. And there is my miscellaneous receipt. See, I just brought in this item, assigned a lot number, etc. So that's how I simulate a scanning device through the Telnet client in Sage X3.